Hey guys, today I'd like to introduce Sedicling's second rack extension, Index. Index is a simple yet powerful rack extension for discovering and exploring chords and chord progressions. I call it a chord dictionary, and with its two novel methods for looking up chords, it is sure to be an invaluable tool for all aspiring songwriters and keyboardists. Index's most novel feature is its lightning fast reverse MIDI lookup. Simply play MIDI into Index and it will instantaneously tell you the root and name of the chord you're playing. Here I go through some basic triads. Index gives you the full chord name as well as a commonly used shorthand whenever it's able to match the MIDI you're playing to a known chord. Index also detects and calls out inversions, as demonstrated here with the inversions of C major. Reverse Lookup also specifically detects two note intervals. These are the building blocks of chords and are an important concept to understand if you want to take your understanding of theory to the next level. On the opposite end of the spectrum, Index has no problem handling higher order chords, all the way up to 7 pitches, which means every musically useful chord from your basic triads all the way up to 13ths are going to be detected. Consult the store page to see exactly which set of chords are currently supported, and feedback is greatly encouraged to help me track down any missing or incorrect chords. Now that you've seen Reverse Lookup, let's take a look at the powerful progression building tool that is Direct Lookup. To use this, you'll need to set the key as well as the scale to something other than chromatic or none. Note that as long as the reverse button is highlighted, reverse MIDI lookup will still work. However, you may have noticed that there is now a table full of chords. These are the seven diatonic chords for the given key and scale that you've chosen, in this case, C major. You can click through to visualize how to play them. If you take a look at the 7, 9, 11, and 13 to the right of each chord, this is how you can toggle on and off extended tones, which build more complex chords. Note that the 7 has a third stage, which is the flatted 7, allowing you to build dominant 7 chords, minor 6s, and others depending on the context. Now, if you're anything like me, you probably trust your ears when building a progression more than a bunch of chord names and numbers. If you flip to the back of the rack, you'll see two pairs of gate and note CV. One is reverse CV out, which is just a pass-through that's intended to be used with tome, and the other is direct chord CV out, which is intended to be used with an instrument. Here we hook it up, flip back around to the front of the rack, and now anytime we interact with the table, we'll hear what we're doing. This allows you to quickly build progressions by ear. As well as hear the extensions you add. The best part is, since you already know your key and your scale, it's easy to build a melody once you've figured out a progression. With Index's reverse and direct lookup, you can build chords and progressions without getting bogged down in theory. This allows you to focus on being creative and making the music that you want to make. I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration of Index and find it as intuitive and as useful as I do. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please contact the email below. Thank you.